Okay, so if you click on this video, you are wondering how you can transfer 3D models from Blender to Katia. So the case study will be with uh, Suzanne Monkeyhead from Blender. So let's take a look. Within Blender, Shift A to add a mesh, select the monkey. And now with that object selected, go up to File, Export, and have this saved as an obj file i'm gonna call this uh, monkey head and i will limit the file export only for the selected only so only for the uh, suzanne mesh now within katia file uh, okay start shape imagine a shape and I will search for the import subdivision. And over here, I will select that uh, monkey head. So it will be this one. Double click. And we're going to see that we're going to have the 3D model loaded as an editable imagine and shape form. So I will press uh, escape and after that, yes. So we can have that applied. And we're going to see that uh, there will be three uh, three meshes so each of the eye and the overall shape of the head and now we have the possibility to to edit the shape so we can do various changes to the to the shape so we have these uh, three individual meshes with the imaginary shape uh, this is because those are also available within Blender. So if I will go back to Blender, I will see that the Suzanne model only has one mesh underneath. But if I will have this selected, press Tab to go to Edit Mode, and now press P in order to separate. If you're going to separate this by loose parts, we're going to have the mesh and also those those eyes so the same subdivision that uh, we have imported within katia will be also visible over here so the first two are the eyes and the last one will be that um, that mesh so you can try this workflow and uh, and after that for example um, if i'm gonna go in part design keep in mind that all the elements that are defined within um, imagine and shape as obj they don't have any material on the inside so they are not uh, enclosed bodies as you can see within various sections we're gonna have those um, those surfaces so in order to have those um, meshes closed there are some workarounds that uh, that can enable that. So again, the last the last one will be the the monkey head. So it will be this one. In this case, we can add a thickness. So we can do that directly in part with thick surface. I can have this selected. In this case, this is set for one millimeters, but we need to pay attention to the overall dimension. If I'm going to preview this with one millimeter, let's see what will happen. We are going to see that uh, there are some um, some overlaps, so we won't be able to have that scaled. But I will also want to measure this. So the best uh, option to measure is to, to draw a sketch. And we're going to see that in this case, the, the whole monkey head only has uh, Two millimeters so that's why it's impossible to add a thickness of, uh, of two millimeters for this one so we can have this uh, model scaled we can go back to imagine and shape and we also have the possibility to have this scale directly on import if i'm going to click this import subdivision i'm going to select again the monkey head and we're going to see that we have the option to adjust the, the scaling over here within the edition. So import scale, I will scale this um, 1000 times. After that, click close. 
and now for this second um, mesh we're gonna see that this will be a lot uh, bigger so we're gonna have the possibility to add that thickness we can either do that in part design like previous or we can do it in uh, generative shape design you're gonna have the same uh, thick surface option over here and again I can specify one millimeter on the outside and we're gonna see within a preview if the software will be able to do that so it's still uh, considering if that can be done and we see that it has been processed and now if you are gonna go again um, in a section so for that go back to part design and we're gonna have at the bottom the dynamic sectioning you're gonna have the possibility to see that uh, that thickness so it's currently set to one considering the large uh, scale of the monkey head now we can go far beyond uh, one millimeter for this case study or we can also consider to have the the shape closed so that's another approach i will delete that and let's see in order to have this uh, this field we have the possibility to go in um, generative shape design we can select the boundary so for that one i will want that boundary to be selected the same for the the other eye socket and now we have the possibility to fill this directly within surface with fill select that have it filled the same for the other one and at the end we're just gonna need to join everything together so we can do that with the operation join i want to join the initial mesh with those two i can also add a margin distance if there are some small gaps but there shouldn't be any small gaps if you're gonna go with preview we're gonna see that now the surface has been converted to yellow indicating a gelati shape design model now with that model we can um, go to close surface so we are not gonna add thickness anymore we are gonna go directly for close surface and the object to close will be uh, join one and we're gonna see that the software will process that and now we have the possibility to go again in part design and if i will go to dynamic sectioning i will see that currently the the model is uh, filled with material so we can further work directly in part design if uh, that was our intent and what's uh, most interesting is that we still have uh, preserved the possibility to edit the shape so for example i can go over here by double clicking on uh, on that mesh and for example if i will uh, select the the top elements from the monkey head i can have those um, elongated like this and we're gonna see that the software will process uh, the closed surface so if i'm gonna go now again uh, within a section cut we're gonna have that material added to the top side okay so this is how you can transfer obj files from blender to, to katia but keep in mind that there are some constraints so for very large um, models it will be really hard to have those uh, those important imported so in this case we only have a, a simple mesh we see within the statistics the total number of um, of triangles and uh, edges that define this shape if i would go with a subdivision for this one and try to import that katia will struggle a bit and is the same with other more complex 3D models. Okay, so I hope you find this video useful. If so, please uh, let me know in the comment section. And also if you have any other questions regarding this uh, 3D model transfer interoperability between um, CAD and Blender.